welcome back to another episode of Catch That, where we dig deep into albums and eras and just everything R&B music. I am naturally Elise, and that is my bro. They are. And we are the R&B representatives. And today, we are welcoming a very, very, very dope brother, Mr. Tracy Lee. He is a hip-hop artist. He's an entertainment lawyer. And now an author yes 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 and yes. we're gonna okay. talk about that later at the end of the show we're gonna, we're gonna talk about the author okay. part yeah. so welcome thank you for having me this is an honor and a privilege you know actually in the back of my mind I was like yo i hope they invite me to this show one time oh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go i'm gonna go. talk about that here we go you know what I mean? oh yeah oh, yeah yeah but not nah, thank you thank you for having me absolutely yes so JR, tell the folks what we're going to be talking about today and kind of why. Okay, so you know what time it is, at least. Before I even do anything, <laughs> before I do anything, she got to let me have my fan out moment, right? So um, <laughs> thank you, thank you, I appreciate it. But uh, so with this, I, I've got to say this line. Oh, it is party time. So <laughs> I gotta have, I gotta do that because I will always remember your album tray. I never told you this because mm-hmm. you know that my pops is a hip hop head, and mm-hmm. I say that on the show often. And he exactly. was a biggie head, so mm-hmm. he had your single on uh keep your hands high. He Ooh. had the single Ooh. right because he's a biggie head, so he was like, "Yo, this dude is rhyming with big, and he's dope." So he wow. went and picked up your Many Faces album because y'all both did y'all thing, unlike what other people say. Catch that uh, one. But, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so he so he brought it, and I just remember your joint, re, um, what is it, uh, Repent? Yes. Will Will? Yes. And uh, yes. Uh, yes, and Give It Up Baby. Woo! And, yeah. the on, and, the re, and he used to play that a lot. And the same year, um, Queen Pins, My Melody came out. And my mm. mom caught that. Mm. So y'all both with Give It Up Baby, y'all use the uh, Michael Henderson sample. Yes. yes. Let, Let Me Love You. Yes, and yes. And she used yes. it for the setup. And, and uh, you know, you use it for, you know what I'm saying, for Give It Up Baby. That's so right. having my mom playing the setup and having my pops playing Give It Up Baby. Wow. And he's like going in. And I'm like, and I always remember he was like, this dude is from Philly. That's all he knew. And that's all he said. So when I get on apartment 5B with Kill, Kill is like, yo, I'm going to have Tracy Lee on the show. <laughs> and at first, my mind is like, oh, there's some new cat he talking about. I'm like, whatever. And when you came into the screen, I was oh, like, another Tracy Lee. I was, wow. like, I was like, keep your hands high. What the? Wow. And I, you, I was sitting on it. And if you look at our first episode, when, when you came on there, I was trying to be mad civil, like, <laughs> but in my mind, I'm like, yo, this is really Tracy Lee. Wow. Like, yo, this is crazy. And my dad was such a fan of yours. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and man. I never got the chance to tell you that. Because let me tell you something. My And my dad loves Who's Crew, too. That's ooh, another one. Like, I'm telling you, Trey, like, my dad wow. rocked with many faces like that. And he's really hard body on MC. So mm. when he heard that, and I just remember him kept playing Give It To Me Baby. And him mm. and my mom would just battle. She was like, well, she used it for the setup. Well, mm. he used it for Give It Up Baby. Like, what you want? <laughs> what you want? So they would go. And that was kind of my childhood because my mom was a soul head. Yeah. And my dad was it. So then she was like, well, that's the sample of Michael Henderson. And my dad like, I don't know who the hell that is, but OK. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I was like, so with that, I was like, cool. So when you came on, I was like acting all chill. But now I'm like, to actually know you a yeah, little bit. Absolutely. And my pops absolutely. being a fan of yours, it's kind of like, wow. I know he up heaven. Like, my son ain't even a hip hop head. And he got to meet people that I really rock with before wow. him. You know what I'm saying? So I never get to tell you that, but I wanted to tell you that. Oh, my man. dad was really a fan of yours. Like, listen, listen. First of all, prayers and condolences, you know what I mean, to your pops up in heaven. Hey, and hey. that's. Oh man, that yeah, you you took a while to tell me that, but when you start naming records like Who's Crew, when you start naming, you know, just the records that's that's on the on the album and never yes. got released, and most people yep. don't know about, like like Big Willie style, it's like that's 
that's that's a um that's an honor, man. I appreciate it, man. And, oh. and as you can see, with the samples that we use, you know, it's, it's, it's heavy R and B. You know, with the yes. Jones Girls and Nights Over Egypt, you know, it's heavy R because that's that's the that's the cloth that I'm cut from. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So so nah, I, I appreciate you, man. I definitely yeah. yeah I ain't never get to say that. I let Kill fan out on his show. Yeah, I yeah, let yeah, him yeah, do yeah. it. I was <laughs> like, when he come on here, I'm gonna do it. So speaking of Farm Five B, when you came on. And this is what we get into what we're going to talk about. So we were yeah. talking about our favorite, like, R&B albums or whatever, right? Yeah. And you got in the screen and you put up this album. And everybody on the panel lost it. Like, we went nuts. Because it was like, oh, because I was like, I'm done. I, I was like, what are we going to come from this? Like, who going to go next? Like, ain't nobody coming from this. So when we, when Sis came up with Catch That, I was like, Yo, I want to get Tracy Lee on so we can talk about this album. And she was Absolutely. like, well, yeah, ask him. Ask him. And then, mind you, we doing so many catch that she comes back to me. Did you ask Tracy yet? Did you <laughs> ask him yet? Stay on him, Lee. Stay on him. You know what I, mean? I had to do that with, um, we had Grap Lover on the show. And yeah. I kept, I was like, did you, I was like, ask him. I said, try to ask him now. Yeah, yeah. She, yeah, she had to get nasty and dirty with me. Yeah. So that's why the last episode, okay, okay, I was okay. like, oh, I'm going to ask him. So the Listen. album I'm talking about, y'all, is Intro's debut. Mm. Their 1993 debut. And we we going to get into it. We going to talk yes. about when Tracy first heard it, yes. how he yes. feel, how yes. was he introduced to them, and all that good stuff. So, yes. for, so when would you actually introduce the intro first? I, I, I'll never forget it, man. I had a um I graduated from Howard and I had an apartment downtown um in, in, in DC. I was on uh 13th of Massachusetts at this place called the Cambridge. And so this was we talking 93. So we, we you know, this was you know, going into that era when you mix in hip hop and R and B and and you know, I remember coming from New York and and listening to um 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 not not do wop but uh who was before him um uh ah i can't remember but they used to have these mixtapes um where they mixed where they blended the hip hop beats oh, so, so like ron g, ron g. And ron g. there we go ron okay. g shout, shout okay. out to ron g you know what i'm saying so this is when i first got introduced to that to that flavor you know what i'm yeah. saying and i was like yo this is crazy like and so you know shortly afterwards you know you hear you know mary J and all that other stuff you know what i mean coming with that flavor um but little did i know that there were some masterminds behind that flavor you know what i'm saying that happened to come after you know mary got released you know what i'm saying and so you know you, a lot of people thinking that you know it's, it's puff puff is coming up with this blah 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 but then you know if you start digging a little deeper you want you find out that it's it's these guys it's the untouchables it's 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 my man kenny you know what i'm saying and so when i heard that intro album i was like see this is that to me it sounded like this was that perfected you see what I'm saying? When we first, when we first got introduced by by Marion and, and and you know with the Jodeci remixes, it just sounded like you know it's a blend. But then now here comes this intro album where it sounded like they perfected it because actually they were the masters of it. So I'm in my in my apartment and somebody brings the intro joint, the CD. They brought the CD in there, and I put that joint on. Man, I could not take that joint off for like a week. I just let it run. I put all my other music aside. I had Red Man. I had, you know, I think did, did they come out? Because I know the Woo came out. It was it. It was the same year. I want to yeah, say the Woo. I think Intro came out in April. The Woo ain't come out to November. So okay, right, yeah. right, right. So so um, but but you know, it, it I was I was heavy on Red Man. I was heavy on you know, like like I said, all of the all of the um, you know, the R and B hip hop mixture, the mixtapes and all. But this joint came out. And I did not take this out of my radio, out of my player for at least a week. It might have been longer than that because I couldn't get, I couldn't. It, it, it was the, it was the beats. It was the, it was, it was the, the, the sound. And then, more importantly, it was the vocals. It was the harmonies. It was the, and then the re. I mean, we're gonna get into the records, but it was just like, <laughs> yeah. This, what is this? You know what I mean? It was incredible. Yeah, and you know, I was um. So this came out. I was in high school and. I was introduced 
to intro through the quiet storm mm. with, because of come inside. Sure. Yeah. I listen I listen to the quiet storm faithfully every night of my teenage life. Mm. So and and so that's how I was introduced to it. And I was like, oh, I was like Kenny's voice. I was like, <laughs> and so I bought a CD. And you know, it's a big deal if you were in high school because you ain't got no money. So if you <laughs> buy something, like you have a lot, you either already know it's really great or you just have a lot of faith in it. Mm -hmm. Because you ain't you just don't have expend, you know, you just ain't got disposable income like that, right? Right. Mm -hmm. And just like you said, I played it over and over the CD over and over and over. Like I, I played it every day for that year. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah, real rap. Y'all was of age then. <laughs> yeah, how old were you when that came out, yo? Y'all, it came out ninety three. So y'all, so I was only seven. Right? Wow. wow, I was only seven. But this, I had already started, like you know, reading a lot of notes by that time. So right. when we got the intro record, I was like, wait a minute, I know this name, I know who Kenny is, but mm. I'm having Mary, and right. I was like, oh, so this dude wrote this. And yes. oh, so he's the mastermind kind yes. of to this and the untouchables yes. and, yes. and DJ Eddie F. I'm yes. like, oh, yes. then I went because also I'm a fan of SWV. I'm looking at the It's About Time and he vocal produced they joint Give It To Me. So I'm like, this is this dude. I'm like, oh, so when we when my mom got it and we actually listened to it, we my mom played it because that's why, you know, I'm a throw my hand in, let people know I am a part of the documentary that they're doing. Oh, yeah. And my mom would I saw, like- I saw you. I saw you, by the way. I seen yeah, it. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, so yeah. I was like, um, so my mom was Famous. like, yo, I remember uh, Love Thing, and she remember Let Be The One, and she told them, and I just remember us playing that record, Anything For You and all that, which I know we're going to get into, but when I heard that, I was like, this is some different stuff mm -hmm. and and i'm just mad that they didn't get the respect which i know we're going to get into for that too but it was just like a dope um you can play from beginning to end no skips no none of that like if you skip a song it's weird you know what i'm saying it's like weird like, it's weird like, like what the yeah. hell like you you listen because i can't listen to that album on shuffle because you know there's some album you can put on shuffle and be like i right, just try Nah, not I ain't putting one. this album on shuffle. No, now, I want it from beginning to end. Now, yeah. we'll get into it when we go through the album, but there's only one song that I actually do skip, but that's because I wore it out for myself. Because I... Oh, okay. That makes sense. I did it. That not because bad. And not because yeah. it don't fit. It's just I... You wore it. We'll you wore it out. Some, if it was bad, at least we'll say it was bad. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, yeah, she, oh, I'm sure. Shoo, it's bad. So she's nah, But um, so yeah, so what's your like favorite songs on it? And what did you, you know? Oh my god, man. The whole album. Yo, you just said it. It's like I, mean, I can't we could, go, we could go track by track. Oh, okay, okay, listen. Yeah, well, no, you just want to show your vinyl. You just want to show your oh, vinyl. Oh, yeah, you show it off. It was already showing. She was showing off. She yeah, was yeah, you showing show it off. off. Showing off. It's cool. It's That's cool. a collector's item. You know, you lucky I don't know where you live. Because I can <laughs> jack you for that right there. <laughs> no, Jay, I don't have to show off. Jimmy Jam already told me my record collection. Now she's showing record. off even more. You see? Wow. You see? <laughs> Throw that in there. Throw that in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! We'll start off. We'll start off. It starts okay. off with "We Got a Love Thing." Listen, oh, them they said it off people. right, man. They, they said it off right. Right. Because when you start that. talking about, huh? No, go ahead. No, no, no. I'm just saying. No, I'm just saying that's again, how you start off an album. That, that's that's how you start off an album. Because again, like I said, I had already fell in love with the whole Ron G mixtape scene. So when you right. start talking about, you know, these samples. You know what I mean? That's a sample that mm -hmm. they use, and I, I don't I don't want to get it confused with the with the slow down joint. It's that's uh, what I was gonna say. <laughs> that's that's let me be the one, right? With the slow uh, down. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So no, no, no. It's you're right. With uh, it's uh, nothing is slow down. 
Love, love thing is slow down. And let right, me be the right. one is Ed OG and the Bulldog. So yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I got yeah, it. Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 So so when you start talking about blending hip hop and R and B, man, that's the that's the that's the quintessential joint. Both of them exactly. joints. You know what I'm saying? But we said we talking about love thing first. Like, psh, man, it's like I hear I hear it immediately catch my attention with the sample. And, and then especially it, with you being a hip hop head, it's gonna catch y'all because of course the slow down joint. Exactly. So y'all like exactly. And that's what Jeff said they, they were trying to do. Because he was like, I don't want to be that guy that's just singing on these R&B joints and a, a little New Jack up-tempo joint. He was, like, I, he was like, I'm in the street. Like, I'm a dancer. I'm in the street. So I want to hear something that's going to knock. So mm-hmm. when he was like, yo, they heard that love thing, they was like, this is it. Like, he was like, this is the one. Like, I know if I'm going to dig it, we're going to get the hip hoppers to dig it. You know oh, what man. I mean? And the way Kenny floating on it, that's what I'm saying. Uh, I mean, it, it's all encompassing. It's the it's the it's the it's the, it's the uh, sample selection. It's the mm-hmm. arrangement. It's the mm-hmm. vocals. It's the harmonies. Like woo. So yeah, way to start off the album. Yes, that yeah mm-hmm. yeah because it it hits you right in the face. Dun 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 dun. Yep. <laughs> yeah. It hits you off the brain. Indeed. Mm. And then. Like we started touching on, then you go into Let Me Be the One. Let me be, let yeah. me be. Come let on, me man. be the one. one. When you come run it to, come on, man. Same formula. No. Back to back. And how coincidence that Mary and Puff used it again when she did Ooh on That's Love right. and Life. That's right. I'm like, the, j- 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 they took <laughs> it. You know? <laughs> I mean, to take what they were doing and then take their style, then later on use the same sample off the song. I said, that's some, that's some shady shit. (laughs) It wouldn't be, it wouldn't be Puff if he didn't do that. Yeah, true that, true that. And I'm, I'm so surprised, even back then, that that, like, it was a good radio single. But I was just surprised it didn't blow up bigger than it did, that particular song. Like, I, it... You know what I think, too? It was so many groups, stuff out then, and this is Atlantic. They were on Atlantic. Mm. And I felt that Atlantic probably didn't really know what to do with intro, for real, and mm. this album, for real, because this album should have been way bigger than what it is, like, as far as sales and all that. And I just think, because... I was reading a lot of forums and a lot of people was like back then they was looking at them as the male SWV in a way. That's what a lot of them was looking at them as. So a lot of them was looking at them like, oh, y'all just copying them, even though this is a style that they created. But now y'all saying that they're following. So it was like people was looking like, yeah, they following them. That's what they is. But a lot of people just didn't get the album. They got the single and was done. And 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 to and, to, and you know now to Puff's credit, if it had if it had come out on a let's say a bad boy or even an Uptown, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Which I'm surprised it didn't, or they didn't try to sign it to Uptown. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, maybe I you know. may know something why as to how and why. <laughs> that it seems like that seems <laughs> like that. Me that, too, Trey. You know I what I'm saying? I could have something to be like, well, why? But yeah. I'm thinking they down with the Untouchables, they down with Eddie F. I'm thinking with all of that time with Uptown, but I think I think Kenny and them maybe this what they thinking. They got Jodeci. We ain't gonna get the same love as Jodeci is. You know what I'm saying? Like Jodeci was their guys, and right. then you got us. I got you. I see what you're so saying. So it's like we gonna give Jodeci. Jodeci done made a name for themselves by now. So right. we gonna that give them sense. all that money and all that promo, and then we look at them and be like. All right, we'll give him a little table scrap and see how it works. And I think that's why Kenny and them was like, we're going to go to Atlantic. We ain't behind, gonna but, but, and you're right. But hindsight, it's like, even if they would have got the scraps, I still think it would have blew more on up or yeah. because, because of the association, because of the affiliation. True. People would have been like, oh, here's some more stuff coming from this. Yeah. You know, from this, you know, this, this, this particular pod or group. It's like, oh, yeah, right. we definitely right. rocking with it as opposed to coming from Atlantic and they not right. showing the love that they need to show. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, true. Through that, through that, through that. Because mm-hmm. I, mm-hmm. I always wanted to be like, what the hell, yo? Like, I look and be like, why wouldn't this album like three times platinum or some shit? Mm. This shit only went gold. And I'm like, damn it, man. 
crazy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. And then we go into anything for you. That's my joint. That's a favorite for me. Da-da, da-da. Yeah, come on, man. I yeah. love that record, y'all. I love that record. It, did, it still got a little beat to it. It still got a little groove to it. You know what I'm saying? And then it's like right after coming at these hip hop so influenced songs, you go into anything for you that still has that, but you kind of see more the R and B is taking shape now. Like Come on, man. that 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 bridge, lady, you know that I that part, that's the part. And then when that's Kenny the come part. in with that deep, I'll give you the word if you were mine. Yeah. <laughs> That's the part right there. That's oh, the man, right yo. there. You know what somebody, I mean? Somebody on, online was like, when it comes to Kenny, nobody has ever heard a voice like that. It hasn't. And it's like, he had that voice that was one of a kind. Because like, <laughs> like when, uh, when uh, what's his name? When Buddy was like, who's your favorite singer of all time? He said, me. <laughs> and, and and he probably sounded ridiculous back then, but now hindsight, it's like, hey, your man was not far off. Yeah, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like he's sitting there off. vocal producer because he even vocal produced the soul for real. Yep. So if you got him saying, Yeah, I need you to come over here to get with these little kids over here and, mm-hmm. and work with them, you got to be dope. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just gave me a nugget right there. I never knew that. I never a word? knew word. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. See, I'm the line of those guys. Like, I'm looking and see because wow. I want to see something maybe that's familiar that I know. And mm-hmm. once I, I saw the Soul for Real record, I was like, oh, Kitty Green, vocal producer. I said, oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. makes, makes sense. sense. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, anything for you, that's my. Ooh. That's the joint. Ooh, that's yes. the joint. Yes. Yes. Then. You go into one of my jams. Why don't you love me? Why it don't you love me? It just keeps coming. It just keeps coming. <laughs> it, it, that, it don't stop, yo. Stop. Like it, <laughs> why don't, don't you? Why don't you love? Why don't you? It, yes, oh, that's man. the part. Why don't you? Why don't, why don't you? Don't like, you? Listen, they made a whole bop off of this sad ass song. <laughs> <laughs> that song's sad, yo. I know. If you listen to the lyrics, you're right. It's very man. sad. It's very sad. Like, but it's a bop, though. It's it is. Bop. It is. And again, I think with that hip hop and R&B that was being meshed at that point, it mm-hmm. works. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Because it's still like a little bop. You know what I'm saying? Because one thing I've seen about hip hop, you know, fans, no offense, Trey, no offense to leave. But it's like y'all hard to like <laughs> a little bit. A little <laughs> y'all bit. hard, y'all. One little thing with R and B, if y'all ain't like it, y'all out. Like yeah, y'all right. out. So for y'all to like really go in about this intro record, it was like, damn, everything had to go right because had to. One little thing went wrong, y'all would have been like, all right, we out, we out. It was, it was, it was the perfect. Like, break, man. <laughs> I mean, like. <sighs> And then let me guess, after this, it's all about you. Come on, he knows his shit. It is. <laughs> do, 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 do. It's all about, all about you. you. Come on, man. <laughs> Woo. It just keeps coming. It just keeps man. coming. Yeah. And they said like, this man would write songs so fast, he would be done in like 15 minutes on a whole record. Exactly. Like, I'm like, damn. And to come up with joints like this, I'm like, how do, but then I'm like, y'all, you coming with a sad joint and why don't you love me? Then the next record, it's all about you. you. (laughs) Guess what? But no, but, but see that, no, that that girl put the thigh out on him because he love thing. He was like, let me be the one. I do Uh anything for you. Damn, why you don't love me, girl? (laughs) (laughs) And then the next week, it's all about you, (laughs) boo. That's real. He just told you a story right there in that first half of the album. He told yep. you a story. You know what I'm saying? Yes, he did. Yes, and he continued to tell you the story. Which is yeah. that? I said, that makes sense. I ain't never really think about it like that. Like yeah. Even the best relationships, they're not linear. It's ups and downs. Now, different yep. people have different real. kind of ups and downs, but there's ups and downs. So that's, that's just real. That's but, real. That, but that speaks to Kenny's pen. You know what I'm saying? His pen is prolific. So, Sir. you know, 
while you bop into all of the grooves, it's like when you sit back and you actually listen to the lyrics and Definitely. you listen to the way that he wrote the lyrics and how he, and even the, the sequencing of the album, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. you know, that's just the pen floating, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. Floating, floating. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. So, yeah. so that's uh -oh. a, so that's side A. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we just getting warmed up. Yeah. yeah. We did, you know, yeah. So, so side A don't punch you. Yeah. In the in the in the chest and the side B about to punch you in the face. Like yeah. yeah. Because we start off Ooh. with one of the most Say beautiful it. covers Say it. Say that it. ever covered ribbons, ribbon in the sky. The Absolutely. best of all time. The best of all time in my the best cover. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No, it is the best cover. Period. Of all time. Quiet. Because of all time. Of all and time. And it ain't and even reason, close. And it ain't even close. And the reason. And the reason. Please. Is not only is it masterful, but you covered a guy who I revere as the greatest right. of all time. Right. You don't just cover a Stevie Wonder record. You know, you just, you just don't do that. But when you do, you 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 don't like cover it in a way that I actually forget about Stevie's ribbon in the sky. Shameful. You ever heard, right? you ever heard me and Jr. talk about ribbon in the sky? No. The original. No. No. We don't. We do not like that song. I was waiting for Trey to. I was waiting for Trey to finish because he was going there. So I didn't want to bother with the whole. Wow. We do oh, not no. like the original "Ribbon in the Sky." I, I can't like go that old. far, but wow, no. mind blown. No, that's Explain why I don't. Even, I don't even explain yourselves. It's so dry to me. Like <laughs> it, it, <laughs> it's so dry, and I'm like, I put it in the category of. I just called to say I love you. Like I Ooh, really that's harsh. That's hard. I, put that yeah, I don't like that. that one. <laughs> I don't like that one. I don't like that one. Well, it's... Kill say Kill said I would drop dead in the elevator if they played that joint in the elevator. Yeah, I, I don't like that one at all. And I put that in there like ribbon in the sky to me is just so plain to me. And I'm like, and again, now, and, uh, and at least I do like two. the lyrics to Ribbon in the Sky. Okay. The author in her. No, I her. always, I always like the lyrics. That's why I always tolerated the song yeah, yeah. because I thought it was, it was beautiful. I thought it, was a, it sounded like a poem to me. Yeah, so. yeah. No, I'm just not, and I'm not the '80s Stevie after Hotter Than July. Okay, okay. At least get just that. getting me into what is it in the Square Circle? Yeah. Okay. See, I, I actually like '80s dope. Stevie. You know, it's something I, like, I don't, you don't like, but I like '80s Stevie. I like Jungle Fever. I like in the Square Circle. Oh, okay, like you it. like in the square circle. I'm just getting into Music Aquarium, so you don't like Music Aquarium. Mm. Well, that's just a greatest hits album. Ooh, with with a couple of... Put on that for that album. So. Right, right, right. With a I'm couple gonna, of, you know, like... like uh, yeah, like, I'm... Ugh. After Hotter Than July, I'm like... Mm. Like... So when he did Rhythm in the Sky, I was like, yes! <laughs> Yo, man, the... Arra listen, the arrangement Come after... On, you know what part I'm talking about. Yeah. After the last hook, yeah. That arrangement after that. Those in the sky. <laughs> I never saw it coming. That was did a blind either. side. Because no, when he did it, when I when I was listening to the record, I'm like, oh yeah, this is dope. This yes. is dope. He got yes. to the end. This is dope. Then all of a sudden he hit you with that. I was like, yo, what the and, he does. and after that, he come back around and, and bring it back and, and came back with the for oh, so long this oh, night. This night I pray. I pray. Let us start. Let us start. Oh, okay. my way. My. Woo <laughs> It's no come with me. It's the Over the kitchen. Oh, lucky chicken. What it sky. is. What it is. <laughs> what it is. Come on, man. Come on, man. Yo, like who? And and even Stevie was like, yo, because he had to be in the video. Stevie right. was like, yo, who is this dude singing my record like this? Thanks. He was like, I got to meet him. Because when Brian, because when we talked to Brian Alexander Morgan, he was like, you know, Stevie loved female voices. He pays mm -hmm. attention to female voices. But when he heard Kenny, he said, who is this cat? I need to get 
him. I knew who is he? Uh, and then when they was like, because I think Buddy was like, um, you know, they was like, Buddy was like, yo, I'm about to go home. They was already in LA. And he was like, yo, I'm about to go home. I'm about to dip. He get home and he get a call like, yo, you gotta come back to the crib, yo. But oh, I saw he that in the documentary. I was like, wow. Yes. And that's why Stevie was like, he in the video, he was like, you just put some extra oomph into my <laughs> shit. Like, like, he like, I had to meet you, yo. And, Ke- and Kenny just looking at him like, nigga, I idolize you. Like, word, word. you know what I'm saying? Like, my, my pen is because of somebody like you. And you telling me that I body just on like this? Like, that was incredible. That and was what was so special about uh, is because they changed the arrangement and people don't usually do that or it's been some where her the range would change and it just it kind of sound goofy it don't work right. yeah and yeah like from the beginning to stay true to the original and then come and flip it all in the same song that's a like yes who does that who does that's that? why it's like six minutes long <laughs> who does that like like that the, like the, the the next best remake that i think i've heard was recently and I played it to death. Was 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 Layla with uh with Angel? Like oh, I, I, I burned that record to the ground. And how she did the medleys at the end with all the other Anita records, man. It's like that was crazy to me. But you ain't like it. I see you. See your- her, right? You see it, right? You see. I see your face. I love that, yo. Why didn't you like? Well, we're not talking about her, so forget it. No, Let's no, just go no. back. <laughs> and she loved Layla. That's what she- love. One of my favorite artists ever. And you didn't like that? Oh. Uh-uh. All right, real quick. Why? Real quick. No, I didn't like the the arrangement. The arrangement. The I didn't arrangement. like the arrangement of it. Got you. Got you. I thought she sounded exquisite. She always do. Oh, she yeah, never yeah. sound oh, yeah, bad. Yeah, 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 never yeah. heard her sound bad. Never. Um, ever. So never. yeah. I got you. I think the next best Stevie cover, though. Speaking of Steve, of people attacking Stevie songs. Uh, is uh Say when it. foreign exchange with Yazara remade if she breaks your heart. If she mm. breaks your heart, yeah. That's yeah. that's an exquisite cover. Yes, 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 yes. Yazara did what, what she needed to do. Yes, she did. She did. Yes, he did. Wait a minute, so y'all don't like. I'ma just say Casey and JoJo's lately. <sighs> Because it's dramatic. it's dramatic. The live version. It's just the live it's dramatic and crazy. Now, like objectively, yeah, it's a hot like mess, it. but I love it because it's funny yeah, and yeah. fun to me. It, it's funny. I'm I'm a, look, I'm a shock, y'all. I'm gonna tell you a remake that I tolerate. It's not better than, but I tolerate it. Actually, I, I like it. And that's I'm a shock, y'all. Donnell Jones. Oh no, we love that. Oh, oh yeah, you do. we love that. Knocks me off my feet. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, yes. okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. oh, we love okay. that. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Oh, yeah. he did what he needed to do on that. Oh, okay. yeah, he did. I'm back in the game. I, I, I liked it. <laughs> we rock with that. Back in the family. Good. Okay, good. <laughs> we back. Back on track. Who's somebody else asking? You know who asks us? Brian. Brian asks us the same thing. Really? He was like, do y'all? And me and Elise was like, yeah, we love it. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. we love that. There's oh, not a lot of that. people mention that. And I don't know if a lot of people know that record, but yeah, I love it. That's my, oh, actually that first Donnell there. Jones album before the, the way I want to be. My so heart. Came out. Yeah, my heart. Now, I, I killed that album, but we're not talking about him right now. Yeah, no, no, that's fine. I'm loving this because we just going on oh, the no. no, we always get off track. That's what we do. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. That ain't not your name. <laughs> So the next song yeah. is my favorite song on the album. Oh, let's go. That is. I know. Because I don't is. count Ribbon in the Sky. You know, so I was like, a song is so great. You can't even put it in the what's the best conversation. Like, it's just in its own little pocket. It's yeah. It's floating over the other ones. But yeah. it, but so my favorite favorite is Ribbon in the Sky. But my favorite after that is Don't Leave Me. Ooh, yo, that I want. <laughs> like the flowers I see. Ooh, yo, that I want. Listen. You know, when I play this that, album, you know? I never can just let that song play one time. I always have um, to run it back. Every time I listen to it, I always run it back. Because oh, Kenny, whew, 
He killed that. He killed that. How did like I just, the power need the rain? Yes, yes. Like how the hell you can go that turn day? and walk away? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need the rainy day. I'm lost without you. Yes. Like, how can you go that deep? Don't you ever go away? Y'all, yeah. man. Yeah. 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 No, 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 no. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, I know this album. You know oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. That's why I knew this was going to be dope because I was like, we all three love it. So it was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I at least was like, let's just go down the track list, y'all. <laughs> like, yeah. We, 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 because we, we, every song deserves to be talked about on this album because it's a, it's a no yeah. skipper. That's, that's on that one. We, we're Excellent. approaching my sleeper of the album. We're closely oh. approaching. Oh. I, it might be my second favorite. I, 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 think, think. I think it is. I think, I it, think is. it is. Okay. So What's after the next one? Don't Lose, Leave Me is Come Inside. Come Inside. Come inside. And that's the that's, song I can't listen to. No I, I, knew, I knew that was the one for you. I knew that was the one. I Even though that. that's what brought me to them. Yes. But I wore out for myself. I... And I got it, because since ain't this the one with me and you, because I never heard the long version being played on the radio. You they said played on the, Quiet Storm they did. They played the long version every yeah. night on the Quiet Storm way for years after this album was out. For yes, years. They, really? they, ne they never not played this on the Quiet Storm down here. They always played this. Always. I literally only heard like the edited, like when they were playing they, like on Hot 97 or BLS. It would be the edited version, and they would stop right when you know when he, you know, Jeff and the girls start talking. Not, not, not in DC. <laughs> they not played the whole team. Well, that's, that's the birthplace of the Quiet Storm, anyway. So they they played that record. They, they still played play that. that. It was on. <laughs> yeah, they still play that record. Really, and they played the whole thing. I still haven't heard that, yo. Wow, whole thing, whole thing dog. Damn, yeah, <laughs> how they gonna play that? And they do it all the like, look at how was, they stand. Cause it was midnight, one in the morning. Yep. Yeah, yep. yeah, true, yep. true. Facts. So, you know, so my ads won't. I mean, won't supposed to be up, but I was. <laughs> cause I just want to listen to music. But I would yeah. be up all night even if it wasn't for the question. Like that's all I did was just play music. That's just all. Right. That's just, Always was music. No yeah. doubt. No doubt. Yeah. But yeah, but here comes my it's an exquisite great song come inside. Yeah. Like, like I said, that's what introduced me to intro. Um mm -hmm. and actually I had heard Let Me Be the One on the radio, but I just didn't know who it was. Mm -hmm. So I had heard gotcha. that on the radio. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, because it did get radio play. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, but yeah. I just did the video. But they, they I didn't know it was them until I bought the album for Come Inside, and I was like, "Oh, that's them." So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got you. Yep. Got you. Yeah. Got you. All right. So y'all itching, itching to get. Oh to yeah, the we song. itching for the scratch hit, right hit, now. Hit come my record. Hit come my record right here. <laughs> they ready. Yeah, One of a record. kind love. That's, that's my record. Right. That's my second favorite record. Yes. What? That regular Ooh. right here. Talk about it, Jay. Talk about it. Okay, so, <laughs> yo, <laughs> when I heard that record before, because like I told y'all, I love anything for you. Like, I love it. But when I heard One of a Kind Love, that's how we do it. <laughs> when we get Can tight I down, down to it. To it. Me and you. One Yo, of kind of love. I was like, this song Kenny wrote, nobody else is supposed to sing this record but him. Because I this is one of the songs that I said, I better not see nobody cover this record. Because if they're covering this record and they on YouTube, I'm going to destroy that whole comment section. And yep. I'm going to go in. Because I'll be damned if you're going to fuck up this record, y'all. <laughs> That record is immaculate. Come that on, man! Like, uh, like the arrangement. Let's let's get to the arrangement first yes. of all. Let's let's go to the end. 
Okay. Go to the end. That's how we, that's how we, that's how we do it. One of a kind, one of a kind, one of a kind love. The harmonies, oh my God. And it's just continuous again, again, and again, the stabs. But then the, the other jewel of the record is the stab with the girl's voice. Don't look. In the in the, yeah. in the in the in the in the in the you know what I'm saying in the verses yeah, like the stabs, but it's a it's a quick stab like, yeah. and it it it, it, it pierces it, it is right on time because it gives you a different dynamic. It's like, well, wait a minute, where did that come from? But it sounds yes. right, you know Melissa what I'm saying? Melissa Pierce. See, here, I use the right word. It pierces. You yeah. dig what I mean? <laughs> yes. Jared, I'm reading the liner notes, but I'm old. I had to pull out the flesh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and I knew, and I should have known this was the song because I remember when you put up the joint in, <laughs> on the episode and uh, 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 Vern started singing. He was like, yes. sing with me, Trey. And yes. Then yes. we all started singing and Jill yes. caught us. He called, he was like, yo, y'all really Trey and the Gloria. And the Gloria. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, he exactly. literally called us the Gloria because we was all in unison on this Word. record. Because Vern, he, he went right at that part. He was like, that's how we, that's how we. And then we all came in, do it. Like yeah, it was yeah. dope. Like it was yeah. a moment. Like, yes. Yeah. And I love this song, y'all. I love this song. Like, I, nah, this, this is a song is that I can't listen to just once. Nah. I gotta keep going back. Yep. This is the yep. record that I gotta keep yep. going back, yo. Yep. Cause like Absolutely. you said, it's the vocal arrangement, it's the stacking that he did on this and mm -hmm. all this kind of because I mean quiet is just kept. They did say that Kenny kind of did everything. Oh yeah. Quiet is just kept. Yeah. <laughs> like course. he did all the harmonies and all the background. I mean, but you can hear it. You exactly. Hear it. I was gonna say that. I was like. Like somebody had hit me and was like, yo, do you know that Kenny did everything? And I was like, you're not telling me anything. Like, I could hear it. Like, you could hear it. You could hear this is nothing but Kenny stacking himself. Like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you can't, you, you can't help it. Like, come on now. Like, Because yeah, his voice is so unique. Like, like, like we said, he's one of one. Like, there's no, I can't think yeah. of anybody after him that sounds like him. Still you know. to this day. He had different elements of different singers in his voice that came before him, but after him, I, no, I don't see it. I don't, I don't hear see it. it. Mm -hmm. It's the tone. It's the it, you know he had what the greats had. You know what I'm saying? It's the distinction. It's the tone. It's 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 like you. There's only one Donnie. There's only one Stevie. There's only one Marvin. There's a, like you hear these voices and you just know. Oh yeah, that's yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. That and and th and as you say that Kenny's voice kind of. It's not the same as Donnie's, but it's what it reminds me of Donnie I, is the I, 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 is the effortless effort effortlessness of yes. it. Words are hard. Yes. Um, yes. There's, you know, you listen to a Donnie album. There's no straining. There's no None. trying to reach for a note. It just yes. it just happens. Yeah, and, and and that's what Kenny has is what Donnie has. And that's I right. think that's what DJ Eddie F said when he was producing a lot. Is he was like. Kitty made this shit look so easy. Like, <laughs> like he made it look so easy. Like he's in the vocal booth just straight going off. And you like, yo, you're not even trying. Like, right. you're not even trying. And you're doing all of this stuff on your own. And you're not even trying. And it's just like y'all said, it's that distinction that he had. That's why when you can listen to Mary doing Love No Limit, you know that's Kenny's vocal arranging. You oh, know damn. that's what she's. What that demo that she got that I wish we would I wish we would somebody would leak it because I would yeah. love to hear that yeah. demo of Love No Limit like yeah. I would love to hear because yeah. you could tell all that Mary that's what she's doing on that what she's doing on reminisce yep. what she did on you don't have to worry yep. my love you can yep. hear all of that's Kenny that ain't that's nothing him. but him Actually. that ain't nothing but Kenny. Because it wasn't was. nobody doing no runs like that. She nope. wasn't. She didn't nope. know how to, she didn't know her voice then. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. and the, and the thing about the runs, it wasn't even like acrobatic. It was yes. smooth, but it was it, it was like he was floating. But he would hit certain pockets within the run that you'd be like, God damn it. God damn it. Where did, God damn it. You know what I mean? It's like yeah, and it would be back 
like it would be this back to back thing. So before you could even get over, you know, the, the mm-hmm. first thing he did, then he cut you like, damn, I ain't even really? finished with that. Like, okay, right. I'm, right. in. I'm in. Right. Kind of like he did that, and then he go deep. You mm-hmm. be like, this mug. Mm-hmm. That's why it's like, mm-hmm. yes. And then he the <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, yo, he would yo, I I I I love when I see when I go on to like YouTube videos and I see people be like, yo, Kenny was great. He was one of the best voices. And it's the truth. And like, like Trey, you just said it's the vocal range that he mm-hmm. did that it that was separates him. That separates him from everybody to me. Nobody yeah. since has had vocal arrangement like this guy, man. Like I, you know, and I'm sure you, you, you guys listen to a lot more R&B than I do, or a lot more records. But I haven't heard anybody's vocal arrangement that touches this dude. No, you know what I'm saying? No. Mm-mm. I was, I would say about the closest to him, and and still not, it would be like a Rasan Patterson. Yeah, oh, that's okay. my guy. He's he's okay. dope. He's dope now. Yeah, like, yeah. He's dope now. Like, like them you could put in the same sentence, but it ain't too many other people you could put in the same yeah. sentence. But that's rare air. That's maybe rare the air. next paragraph, but yeah, yeah. Nah, that's rare <laughs> air. They, they, <laughs> Did you they, say next paragraph? That's a fact. Fool. That's a great, that's a great pull, Leash. That's a great pull. Yeah, that was a great John pull. Patterson, I didn't even yeah. think about that. And then when you said it, it was like, Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. You're right. It's right. only them two. Because that's how he can arrange some vocals. Listen. We had Trina and on the show, and she was like, that man know he can arrange some vocals, have all these females in there, and then he come in there. When you got Shaka Khan saying, I want to do a duet with him. Oh, man, nah, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, he just did a remake. Didn't he he just do a remake uh, maybe about a year ago or so? That was Um, a remake. Um, Yes, on his, uh, he did Don't You Know That, Luther. Yes. That's right, that's right. I forgot about that. Yes. Okay, yes, yes, he did that, and yeah, that he was killed it. Dope. And he killed it. He killed as usual. Damn, sis, that was a good pull. Yeah, that was a good pull. <laughs> that was a good pull. That was a good. But pull. only them two. That's it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, no, I agree. I agree. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Shoot, the only one arranging like that before him, really. I mean, Luther. Like it's like Luther, Luther level yeah, arrangement. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, as, as far as before him, you know what I'm saying. Well, yeah. See, when I could tell, Kenny studied him too, though too. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Like he, studied, absolutely. he studied. He studied Luther. He yeah. studied absolutely. Luther. You know what I'm saying? Had he to was, have. Like Luther was the sensei, and Kenny Green was in the in the front row. He's the student. Like okay, yeah. mm-hmm. I, I like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, oh yeah. That's they they the you know what folks on Twitter always like to make a Mount Rushmore. They like the vocal arrangement Mount Rushmore. Yes. <laughs> true, true, <laughs> true, true that, true that, true Indeed. that, true Indeed. that, true that, true that. And then we close the album out with so many reasons. Ooh. You Ooh. and I. Ooh. Mm. They love they love to put a moaning girl on a record though, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was such a thing during that time. Like that was like Jodeci was doing that, and that was a thing. Wait a minute, Wait a minute. it's a, it, you're missing the record, the Ecstasy of Love, right? But that, that was more. That was on the CD. That wasn't on the cassette. Right. This is a promo. Got you. Got you. Yeah, yeah, it was promo. on. Yes, yes. Because <laughs> I had to think about it for a second. I was like. Wait a minute, and then I'm thinking on the CD we had ecstasy of love on. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. Mm-hmm. I knew something was missing. I was like, something. "Oh, you see, Trey? Trey was like, wait a minute, we missing something." You know so, this, man. hey man, it's my album. It's like, I, I get it, I get it, something. I totally get it, I get it, I get it. But so many reasons, man. So many and, reasons. And, and and after coming off of one of a kind love, because it's that's kind of like your ballad here, and then you kind of go to a mid with. So many reasons. Nice. And they Kenny way to close. Riding they it like he normally do. He could get on it. I know DJ Eddie F had to be like, this motherfucker is dope. Like, come on, man. It was not <laughs> stop. It was not nah, stop like that, man. At all. At you, all. You know at what's all. amazing about this album? Because remember, I, I told you, yo, we got this tournament on uh on Clubhouse. I wanted you to come. Yes. In. And, yes. And, and the reason why is because I knew them kids didn't really know this, you know what I'm saying? I was like, 
but they're going to learn. That was the whole thing. I wanted them to learn. So now you're, you, you're forced to listen to it. So as the album kept going on in the bracket, it was like, yo, I didn't know this album was that dope. They all kept saying it. I didn't know this album was that yeah. dope. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's like, and that and that's really what the whole thing, I, I didn't expect it to win the tournament. But yeah. I was like, I at least want you to put your ear on it. So now yes. you have recognition. Of what there was a couple of times I was in there when I think it was some against dreams, love, hate. And right. a lot of them was going at dreams, love, hate. I said, Trey, what you got me in here? <laughs> like, what is going on? I was like, what is going on? But then I saw after a while, I was and like, JR texted me all crazy, like, what is this? I, sure <laughs> I did. <laughs> 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 saying love hate is maybe better than like Stevie songs and the key of life or something got me in and at least yeah. like no just stay <laughs> and then after a while yep. I got it yep. it was like a lot of them we you will come back the next week and they'll be like yo I didn't know this album was that dope and it was like ah education, okay. it's education. I, even though I had to listen to the foolery in the right. beginning but right. I'm like right. I, right. Get right. I get it I get it I get it a lot of a lot of my close friends weren't um didn't know about it before and i put them on to this album you mm -hmm. know within the 2000s you know like and they were like wow. why didn't i know this you know they just knew come inside and they knew ribbon in the sky but that was it they didn't even know let me be the one wow. you know that's but how my knew, wife was but they knew those two songs and didn't even really really know who sang them but they knew the songs yep Oh, wow. That's how my wife was. I put her on to it. Like she knew she knew the ones that got played on the radio. But when I played the album, she was like, oh, this shit is dope. How come <laughs> I didn't know about this? And this was what 15 years later. I'm like, yeah. Wow. Man. You know it's so and especially crazy. any dude that I introduced to this album, they like it off break. Mm. Wow. Like, and they're like, where wow. this been? All my life. And they all like dudes that but see, uh, I think a lot of dudes that was big hip hop heads, you know, coming up in the '90s, like they kind of didn't listen to a lot of R&B. Like they were very just immersed in the hip hop because most of the dudes yes. I talked to, they were like, I wasn't listening to R&B then, so I missed a lot. You know why? Because it was a stigma. You know what I'm saying? Like you couldn't listen to R&B and wear Tims and a hoodie and drink 40s and all of that. You was considered soft. You know what I'm saying? It's like Bill says nah. that often on the show. I gotta hear this all. He like, yo, we want to listen in the R and B like that. He was like, you hip hop head, and that's it. He was yeah. like, I, I listen to it. I listen to it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love when Trey be like, well, I was listening to it. I'm like, thank you, Trey. Screw them. Yeah. <laughs> wow. yeah. Like this wow. is a treat. This is a treat for anybody that's first time listening. This like it is. What, the, is. what is this? This is crazy. How come I wasn't on this? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Straight up. So with its impact, what did y'all think of the impact of this record? Like, or do you think it deserves more of an impact? I think we all do. But mm -hmm. I mean, what do you think of the impact of what it did for the time and, and all that? I think in the industry, it was it was it was definite, like within the circle of the industry, people knew. Yeah. They knew Kenny was fired. They knew this album was fired. You know what I'm saying? I think, you know, politics got in the way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Definitely. You alluded to that. Um, I don't think it it, it 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 definitely didn't get the impact that it deserved. You know what I'm saying? It's getting more. I, I find that, you know, as you listen to it and you continue to listen to it now, it's 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 actually drawing more people in, and I think that documentary is gonna gonna serve it I a, do too. a lot more. But I, I liken it to like like Donny Hathaway, right? Donny Hathaway didn't get the, the 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 credit he deserved because he kept getting blocked by Stevie. Yes. Stevie's greatness blocked Donny. You know what I'm saying? But Donny was the guy, and everybody knew it. The industry yep. knew it. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And so I think this is similar to that. You know, Kenny and, and intro and this album in particular, you know, there were certain things, certain politics that kind of gotten away from the greatness of what this album is. And yeah. I think, you know, but it stands the test of time. You know what I'm saying? I, I knew for me when I knew that this album was bigger and it, it wasn't just me, because when I was doing my videos or whatever, um, Sin, my brother Sin was like, yo, I think you should talk about intro. And I was like, you think so? And he was like, 
Yo, and I was just kind of brushing it off, like, yeah, I'm going to brush it off, whatever, whatever. So he kept just, yo, you need to talk about it. They need to get their credit. You got to understand, they kind of like the hip-hop soul unsung heroes mm -hmm. in a way. And I'm mm -hmm. like, you think so? And he, and then I started, then he sent me the interview with Jeff. Mm -hmm. And he was in the car. I think it was, uh, it was uh, uh, a British guy that was interviewing him. And when I listened to the interview, it kind of inspired me to do the video. So after Sin hit me, say, yo, you should do it. I was like, screw it. I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. To know that that video that I did has like over 50,000 views now. Wow. To not even know. Shut up, Elise. Not even, <laughs> not even know that people, and then under the comments, people was like, yo, I've been wanting this. Nobody talks about this album. What this? I did not know how big this album is and the impact. And then you got somebody that said in the comments was like, yo, in the industry, this is your favorite, favorite album. That's right. That's right. And I had to think about that for a second. Like, damn, like it makes a lot of sense. Like how you said about Donnie, you was like, Donnie was people's favorite, favorite. You know yep. what I'm saying? Aretha loved Donnie. Yep. Curtis Mayfield loved Donnie. Yep. Like they yep. loved him. But again, they, he didn't get that mainstream love like he should have. You know what I'm saying? But it was like with this, with intro, you had everybody in the industry knew this record. That's why with the documentary, when it's coming out, you would see so many people that was a part of this. And you'd be like, well, damn, you knew too? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you knew too? So just it just shows that this album was very powerful to me. It, it was powerful, and I did not know it was powerful at that time. Right. And I didn't even want to do the freaking documentary, but my brother Sid pushed me, watching that interview pushed me, and I said, oh, shit, wow. See, see, see isn't that a trend? I'm like, Jared, did you ask Tracy? Here no, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. Here you go. You really Here want to? Yes. Sid going to love that shit. He going to love that you did that. That was real cute, at least. That was real, real. cute. It's cute because it's real. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you do. But yeah, this album is amazing. This album is epic. Like, people need to go listen. If you have not listened to this album, you need to. Period. Do yourself Period. a favor, please. Yes. yes. Please. Do Absolutely. Yourself. Absolutely. And, Absolutely. And, and, and like I said, when I, when I did the uh, podcast on The Root and like come inside that that got to be on even though i'm sick of it but it got to be on your gtd playlist what is that please what, what, what gtd me tommy get, get the, the drill. Drill. <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah that's <laughs> yeah. that song that's song number four on the GTD <laughs> playlist <laughs> right number four if you ain't got it by then you ain't get it <laughs> it's the first Damn it. So this is the first album that we talked about on Catch That that we didn't say we didn't like a song. Yeah, really? Trey, even on some of my favorite albums, it still be one like if you had to take one off, what would it be? And we really? would, and we'd be quick. We'd be like, oh, that was. Oh, I knew I wasn't gonna ask Trey that. I knew it because he, I knew he wasn't gonna say it ain't no song that it's I don't like. Like I knew it. This I is a it. flawless ten album. Period. Yeah. <laughs> Full of three. And, and, and like we don't movie. never, we don't hardly ever say that about nothing. Because like when and I'm we talking about from the, the legends. Yes, wow. like we got with Brian Alexander Morgan and we was talking about Souls of the Key of Life. And he was going in about it, Trey. Like he was like, and he got to a couple of songs and me and Elise was like, mm -mm. Wow. Was like, what? He was like, what? He was trying he to convince like, us. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Y'all didn't like, he did his excuse, because he started to get a little offended. He was getting a little tight, you know? He was getting a little tight. He said, y'all weren't born then, so you wouldn't understand. I said, oh. Okay, okay, I'm gonna put y'all to the test then. It's two albums. It's two albums that I think are just flawless. Okay. Just like this one. Okay. Inner Visions. Fact, facts. What song on there that you take off? Is there a song on there that you take off? Uh, me and Alicia would take off one. Which one? <laughs> Higher ground. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Trey, go. Really? <laughs> I'm about to cry, man. I'm about to cry. I'm about to cry. Because I idolize you guys, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know why? 
because it was played so much. And anybody want to do a tribute to Stevie, except the especially the white ones, the only one they go to is either Superstition or Higher Ground. That's it. But how is that the fault of the record? Like, they played it too much. Well, that's not why I don't like it. I don't like okay. it. Okay. Okay. You just don't like it. Oh, you just don't like it. I just like I just don't like it because I and then that made it worse. I, don't have to I, mean, hear you know, it. I think I tolerated it. I mean, it's not objectively, it's not a bad song, but okay, it just doesn't right. okay, okay, okay. exactly. resonate with me. Maybe I'll I should take put it that. that way. I'll take yeah. that. I'll so, take that. So it's not a badly structured song or thing. It just it doesn't move me. I'll take that. I'll take yeah. that. Yeah, there we and go. When it's I hear, not a bad song. And then it's I have just, high standards with Stevie, like it's just everything he does just moves me. So when something don't, it's just like Okay. Okay. I'll take so, that. So more in that context. And then the second one is brown sugar. That's my favorite D'Angelo album. There ain't nothing wrong with that. You know nothing. what? You know what? No, even No. What do no, you No no no? What... I was trying to think, was it another album that we talked about that was that we said was perfect, perfect? And we even kind of no brown sugar we said was perfect, but yeah, I think it was only one song on voodoo that we didn't yeah, like. It was like one song on voodoo. I agree, I agree with that. That's why I agree with that. Oh yeah, so brown sugar, yeah. So but so those those that's the trilogy for me. Those three. You got intro, self-titled, you got inner visions, and yeah. you got brown sugar. Those to me, I just play. That ain't bad at all. That ain't bad I, I, at all. I just <laughs> I just <laughs> No, that's, that's, I, that's, I can have them back to back to back and run it. Absolutely. Ab yeah, I get it. I get it. I get yeah. it. So is there any other ones besides the intro album that you guys have as flawless? Like, just put it in. Maxwell's uh, Urban Hang Suite. Maxwell's mm. Embryo. Mm. I have uh, me. the mm. old days backstabbers. Nice. Uh, that one. Um, Mel LaRue, Black um, Brave Bird. Yeah, you did say Mel. Uh, leave it all behind, foreign exchange. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Um, Ooh. Who else? Ooh. For me, I know maybe some people won't agree, but honestly, for me, it will be Marvin's Here, My Dear. Oh, that's my what? Yeah, yes. I don't yes. got to yes. take nothing out yes. of that. I agree yes. with that one. I put I that in there too. I, I put that in there too. Yep. Yeah, that's, that's, like that's that cool. one I can flawless. Cool. Yes, absolutely. Even absolutely. though, even though I love what's going on, that's epitome for Marvin for me. But here, my dear, I don't gotta skip nothing. You can play that whole record for me. Baduism's hey. perfect. Mama's got perfect. That's another one. That's another one. Superfly, Curtis Mayfield. Oh God. Oh Trey. What don't you like on that? He not a big. You don't like Curtis? You know Curtis is number one. The Curtis is number one for me. It's just, I tell you this, like, come on, spit it out. I don't like no thing on me. The cocaine song. Oh, I'm not the biggest fan of Superfly the song. You know what? You know what? I, I get I, it. I, I get it. I don't, but I do. But I, I tell you why I, the I production of Superfly is freaking epic. Like we can't, I, I'll be a fool to say that. But for me, it's a couple of joints on there I can like. Honestly, y'all probably gonna bug out when I say this, but Pusha Man is not a favorite of mine at all. Oh, I may have to shut my computer down. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't agree with him on that. Sorry, like I, I, that's that, not, I don't agree with him on that. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I know people gonna be like, "What?" Shut my computer down. <laughs> <laughs> I know my mom. If we wait till my mom see this, she gonna give me the side eye. Like, I didn't raise I'm this. I'm giving it for her right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm handling I her light work. Like I could go literally, I could be like running, little child running wild, and then I can go right to Freddie's dead. Like I can and skip Superfly. I no, I'm just not. But again, mm -hmm. I love Curtis and I love the root, the roots album from him. Oh, yeah. I yeah. can play that from beginning to end. I can play, oh, but everybody be like, why? What is it about this album? And it's like, 
push a man. I'm like, it's cool. Like, like how I did to you, even though I was I was what? trolling you with that one when I did with Tupac. I was trolling. I was trolling straight because <laughs> oh, you were yeah. like, are oh, you yeah. serious? And oh, I was yeah. like, oh yeah, with uh, so many tears. With so many like, tears. You ain't right. You yeah, ain't with so many tears. I was like, are you what? <laughs> I was trolling. Even Elise, when she saw it, she looked at me like, Man, man, for real, like you took it too far. <laughs> you took it too far. Of all songs, you, you want to troll about? You want to troll that? Yeah, you took it too far. <laughs> and I did, but this if people are looking, be like, how can you not? But it's just that's me. Like I don't hey, know. Hey man, I don't listen, know. <laughs> that, that, no, that, that's why I love these kind of conversations. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Even though my thing. mom gonna kill me because I ain't never say that. <laughs> Oh God, <laughs> that's good. At least probably gonna call and tell her. That's what that did. <laughs> yeah, at least looking at him like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Nah, but this intro album is is again yeah. right up there, flawless, flawless, yes. beginning and end. Absolutely, beginning absolutely. and end. No absolutely. question. Yeah. Yes. So it's my favorite part of the show. It is our word slash song association. Mm. And so today's topic, because you are a hip hop artist, we wanted to do something fun with different 90s songs that had mm. rappers featured on them. Mm. And you tell me, I'm going to give you the song, and you yeah. tell me the first thing that comes to mind or a memory or just, just whatever pops in your head. Love All it. All right? Yes. All right. Fantasy, Mariah, and Old Dirty Bastard. Fun. This is a fun record. It's a fun record. Oh, anything ODB gets on is fun. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's the first word that comes to mind. And and that dynamic, them two, it, 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 it was just fun, man. Yeah. Fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's one of the ones where it seemed like on paper. It don't it matter. Seem, it, don't, it didn't seem like it was going to work. Right. But, but you know, in action, it's like, oh shit! I can't yeah. think of nothing that works better. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Matter of fact, they could have did an album. They could have at least an EP. You know what I'm saying? I agree. I at agree. Least an EP. You know, I EP, agree. Maxi single something now. But uh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> maxi single, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but y'all kids know about a maxi single. You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> I know, man. You know what I'm saying? Listen, maxi <laughs> single. What is that, Dad? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Don't be wasting my time with Mona Lisa and Mr. Cheeks. Ooh. Energy. Because yeah. Cheek, Cheek, Cheeks brings energy to, to anything that he does. You know what I'm saying? Like, all of his records got energy. Yeah. So, um, you know, that particular record there, again, it falls right in line. Energy. Energy. Nice. Yes. All right. D'Angelo and with the Lady Remix featuring AZ. Ooh, hard. Ooh. That record is hard. That's the, that's the premiere. That's the premiere joint. That's hard. Bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. No, my lady. Bum, bum. Come on, man. That's, that's my hard. favorite remix of the 90s, period. Hard. And then and I'm such an AZ fan. Like, I just, oh, man. That never nah man. That was that was with uh that was with a, a pregnant faith in the video. You know what ah, I mean? Ah yeah. With with China, when China was little and she was pregnant. Little, yeah. That was CJ. You know she was pregnant with yep. CJ. Yep. 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 Absolutely. <laughs> mm -hmm. as we saw who Erica was too in that yep. video. Absolutely. Yep. yep. We introduced to who Erica was. Who that girl? Oh, okay. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Who is that girl? Oh yeah. <laughs> all right. Um uh, <laughs> all I need, Matt and Mary. Oh man, that's the quintessential hood relationship right there. That's that's yeah. that's what it was. That was for me, you know what I mean, with you know, at, at that particular time. That just that that sold it up. Me and the female that I was whoever I was dealing with at that particular time, that's what it was. Well, which one you like better? The uh, the bad boy remix or Rizzas? 
Oh. Ooh. Ooh, I love asking this question. Ooh. You didn't ask me that question. Because I already know yours. I'm going to say Rizzo's, man. That's mine. I'm going to say Rizzo. That's I'm mine. Say even, even though the bad boy joint is the, you know, I'm going to say Rizzo's, man. It got to be Rizzo's. Bad boy yeah. was the... Was the was the more popular, I guess. Yeah, yeah, that was the more popular, but that RZA one, that was the video joint. version, and all that. Oh, yeah, you're yeah. all. <clears throat> yeah, that was yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got that extra little knock. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yes, sir. All right, and the last one. Anything with SWV and Wu Tang Clan. Come on, man. That 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 record is like that. That it's like that, y'all. It's like da, 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 da. that's the party, man. That's the party. That's, that's the party. party. That's, yeah. That's double double U U V V. Yeah, that's the party right there. Yes, I, sir. Party. Yes, sir. Party. Yes, that's a party right there. Yes. Thanks for no competition. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Yes, indeed. Yes. yes. So tell us what you have going on and definitely tell us about Glory. Oh, well, let me tell y'all, man, we've been pushing this thing for almost two years, but we have Glory, the album. Oh, yeah, you got it. And we have Glory, the manuscript. First of all, let's get the Glory, the album. Um, it's on all streaming platforms. You can get it on my website, tracyleemusic.com. Um, produced entirely by my brother Ojiz. Um, just, you know, at this point in my career, this, this has to be um, my best work. It has to be based on the Ooh. times, based on, you know, just the, when you start talking about arrangements, when you start talking about the musicality, when you start talking about the bars, it's just a complete body of work, in my opinion. Um, it, it not only, you know, uh, covers the times, but it, it also gives you some insight on where, where my mind was during this pandemic. And then also, you know, it, it, it's kind of a, an inspirational piece that people can grab onto and get some nuggets from to guide you through certain aspects of your life. You know what I'm saying? And so that's why we put together the manuscript because not only do we have the audio, you know what I'm saying? But this gives you, you know, from a from a literary perspective, and as you can see, this is the original copy because I made my notes and all that other stuff. Um, but it gives you, you know, just a visual of, you know, you know, certain pictures and certain things that went on during the pandemic and all this other stuff. But, you know, just from a, from a word perspective, it allows you to read the lyrics. It allows you to delve into the lyrics even deeper and give you some more insight on where my brain is with regards to each song. So we have Glory, the music, which is the album. We have Glory, the manuscript, you know what I'm saying, which is the book. We have Glory, the merch. You know, mm -hmm. we have Glory the movie, which we are creating videos for every song. And then we have Glory the monologue, which we will be hitting the road next year. I'm putting together the details, but we're, we're hitting the road next year to not only give you the monologue, but also give you the 25th anniversary of many faces. So just stay tuned for, you know, a market or a city near you for all of that good stuff. You know what I mean? But everything you can get at TracyLeeMusic.com. That's T R A C E Y. L E E music.com. Like I said, man, like you said, man, with Glory, that joint was literally in, and I'm an RB head and it was in my top 20, in my top five of 2020. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And, I, and, I, and I, when we were talking about it on the show, and right. everybody was like, well, let's just get this out the way. We know this is on everybody's top. And we was like, Glory. And like wow. that, yes, yo, because you saw once I got in, I was yep. in. Like yep. I was yep. in. Yep. I was like, yep. yo. This is, I'm like, yo, everybody should be listening to this joint. Like you said, it's of the times, like, yep. oh me, I'm still rocking to. Oof. Like, I yeah. love oh me. I love that. And I love Rejoice because Eric oh, yeah. Robeson is on it. Yeah. Like, oh, like, yeah. <laughs> I love it. And we love Eric Robeson. So it was just like with him being on it and that's your guy. So it's yes. like, yes. but that song is just a feel good record. And it just makes you feel good. And it takes you through the emotions and I'm an emotional person. Shut up, Elise. No. Shut up. And, <laughs> and I'm an emotional person. So that, it takes you through emotions. And that's what I like an album to be. And talk about the times and all that. So y'all, please 
go listen to this album because Glory is the shit. It thank is. you. Thank you, Larry. Appreciate it. And then also, you know, and because we delve so deep into these serious topics and subjects, you know, we had to have a little fun later on. So we have a record called Buttersoft that has nothing to do with Glory, but it just it's just a fun record. Like we, we like to have fun, we like to party, we like to dance. So me and my man Jermaine Harsoul put together this record. It's called Butter Soft on all streaming platforms as well. Mm. And um, you know, it's it's a DJ's favorite, man. You know what I'm saying? So um, you know, we have that floating around as well. Mm-hmm. Yes. Man, this was dope. This is this was oh, this man. was a lot of fun. <laughs> it would have been earlier, but at least <laughs> I'm sorry, Trey. It would have been oh, way it's... earlier. Hey, but... look, no, no, this she is all good. She had man. to get me. She had to get me for me to finally. Yeah, I, have to, right I, have, I have to do him like that. He hard headed. <laughs> it's okay. I love him though. <laughs> oh God. No, nah, no, this is this is excellent. This is a lot yes, of fun. Yes, you know, yes. Yeah, yes. yeah, we got to get you for another album now. Ooh, we can get him in for Intervisions at least. Don't yeah. do that. Don't do that. Though. Oh, yeah. Oh. Then I can show my vinyl now. <laughs> JR get happy when he can show his little, his little records. Oh, it's a little, <laughs> little. Oh, it's little. Oh, okay. All hey, right. I'm loving the decor over there. I see you. I see you. You I see her. I see you. you. I and see you. Jimmy Jam done told her. See like, you. he told her her record collection. I had to do something. I don't believe I don't believe in bare walls. It's against my religion. Bare oh, no, walls. No, no, no. That, that's perfect, man. I might have to jack that when I get my basement done. You know what I'm jack saying? it though. It's yo, I, yo. Nah, that's crazy. That's crazy. I'll be honored. <laughs> okay. No, it's just talking about John. I'll be like, yeah, Trey Lee, he trying to bite my style. <laughs> got, it's okay. Not all that from her. Exactly. I told him it was okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, nah, man. Thank, thank y'all for having me, man. This is oh, beautiful. This is great. This is yes, great. This yes, is we great. really appreciate you, and we really appreciate all our viewers. Y'all always support us and share everything, and and y'all comment and y'all ask us questions, and that's yes. that that that's what we want. We we yeah, want to yeah. educate the folks and but entertain them too. You know, right? We, yeah. we got to throw the butter sauce on there. You know, so. Ooh. Oh, one more thing. If, if 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 you guys are so inclined, I would like everybody to follow or not follow me, subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's Left TV, L L E F T T V. Left spelled with two L's. L L E F T T V. I'll put it up on the screen. On yeah. YouTube, absolutely, man. Come, we're gonna have a lot of fun. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna give you content that you love. You know what I mean? And and we got some some production coming down the line that's gonna entertain everybody in 2022. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe and turn on your notifications. Yes, you know? sir. Yes, yes sir. that's right. Yes. So yes, so. We'll just catch y'all on the next episode of Catch That. Peace.